Hello and welcome to my pre-algebra review series. This video covers chapter 10, section 3, titled Area Circles. By the end of this video, you will have reviewed recent lessons regarding finding areas of circles, including real-world problems related to finding circle area and finding the area of irregular figures. Please leave a like if you find this video to be helpful. Give your classmates a heads up too. It will more than likely help them and it will certainly help this channel to be seen by more students. If you'd like me to cover any of these topics in greater detail, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I read them and do my best to address each as time permits. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, let's do it. Objective 1A. Finding areas of circles. The investigation. Find the formula for the area of a circle. This will be interesting. So step one here, use a compass and draw a circle and cut out the circle. So here they're showing you, I want you to make a circle like this circle down here, here, this circle, and cut it out of the paper. Fold the circle in half, and then in half again, now you've got quarters, and then again, now you have eighths, and one, and then the, finally the fourth time you fold it, you're going to have sixteenths. Your circle will be broken into sixteen pieces with the folds. So it says cut out the sixteen wedges. Okay, here's a wedge. Each one of these is a wedge right here. From here to here is a wedge. Okay, from here to here is a wedge. So it says cut out the sixteen wedges that you formed with the folds. Then arrange the wedges in a row as shown below. So you flip them tip to tip to tip to tip back and forth. You can see how it goes. So that you have all 16 of these laid out in this format. Okay? That's the start of what we're going to work on here. So in Objective 1B, finding the areas of circles, the investigation, find the formula for the area of a circle. You're now left with step five here. We've got, you've seen that you see the pattern that you've you've built. Notice that the new shape resembles a parallelogram. How does the base of the parallelogram, the side shown in red, that's the we're going to call that the base of the parallelogram, relate to the circumference of the circle? How does the height of the parallelogram relate to the radius of the circle? Well, if you see that each one of these little pieces, I'll just draw them across the top. Each one of these pieces here, these little pie pieces, right? Each one of the little pie pieces is the same pieces as here, right? The little pie pieces. Okay, so if you have 16 of them and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them up and 8 of them are down. Right? You can see that. Well, that means that the p this red line is covering the, the tips of the, p of the pieces are nothing. There's zero. So you add up all of these segments up here. That's equal to the se eight of these segments around the circle. Well, if you count up eight of the segments around the circle, it's half of the circle. It's half of the circumference of the circle. So this red line is equal to one half of the total circumference of the circle and the height right here from here to here is what? It's the radius. So here it is. The height goes from the tip to the circumference. It's the radius of the circle. So that's what they're asking. What Decide with the red. What, how does it relate to the circle? How does the height of the parallelogram relate to the radius? So the base here is one half the circumference of the circle, and the height is the radius of the circle. So it says use the formula for the area of a parallelogram to estimate the area of your circle. Well, guess what? The formula is area is equal to the base times height. Well, we know what that is, right? The base is the red area, the height is the the height of the pi pieces, which is the radius. Okay, objective 1B, finding areas of circles. It's a continuation of the previous slide with our circle that we cut up into 16 pieces. The diagram above showed that the relationship between the area of a circle and the figure that was like a parallelogram. 
the length h for the of the parallelogram is about the same as the radius of the circle, and the base b is about one half the circumference. And we need c, and we're going to call the circumference c. So it's about half of the circumference. So that that's gave us the base and the height. So you can use the formula for the area of a parallelogram to suggest the formula for the area of a circle. So we're going to use that picture we drew or cut out with the pie pieces to kind of approximate the area of the circle by using the area of a parallelogram. So we start off with A right here. A is equal to B times H. That's the standard area formula for a parallelogram. Then we're going to substitute the base right here with one half C because the circumference we in our parallelogram, we used half the circumference of the circle to form the base, eight pieces of the pi. So half of the circumference times the radius. That would give us the area of the parallelogram. So then we took that same formula there and substituted for the circumference. So what is the circumference of a circle? It's pi times d, or it's 2 pi r. So we're going to use 2 pi r. So c is equal to 2 pi r. So when we rewrite the formula, a is equal to 1 half, from the, up here the half, 1 half times 2 pi r, the piece from the c, times r, here, the radius. 1 half, 2 pi r, r, times r. When you, sub, when you simplify this, you get a equals pi r squared, because the 2's cancel, and you get pi, and you have two r's, pi and r squared. So a key concept says the area of a circle. The area of a circle equals the product of pi, and the area of the radius, and the, and, the, and the, excuse me, not the area, excuse me, the square of the radius. So there it is, r square. Right here, a equals pi r square. Thank you. Example one, finding the area of a circle. You can express the exact area of a circle by using pi. And what they mean, so normally when we use, when we see like, 2 pi r, and we multiply it out, or we say 3.14 for pi, that's an approximation. Because it's 3.14159.62 something, or whatever, it's something like that. It's a long, goes on forever. It's an approximation, though. So every time we calculate the area of a circle, or the, di or the circumference, it's an approximation. Because we take pi, and we use the, no the decimal number. But if we want, an, as it says here, an exact, an exact area, we have to leave the pi as pi in the answer. So you can't multiply by three. You just have to, instead of saying times 3.14 or 22 sevenths, you just say pi times pi. So in our case, the area is pi r squared, the standard formula for the area of a circle. So then, leaving the pi separate like it is, we say that this, if this diameter is 6 centimeters, I'm going to put it in red so you can see where I'm marking, if the diameter is six centimeter, or 12 centimeters, then the radius is 6 centimeters. And it's the r is the radius square. So when we do 1 r equals half of d, the radius is half of the diameter, the r is equal to 6, we multiply 6 squared, we get 6 squared, which is 36 times pi centimeters squared. That's it. So the answer here is 36 pi centimeters squared. We just can't do anything with the pi. You just leave it like it is. Just leave it in the formula. Nobody cares. In fact, we love to see it that way. Because this is the exact, the exact area for a circle that has a diameter of 12 centimeters, or a radius of 6 centimeters. If you have any questions, leave me a, com a comment in the notes, and I'll, I'll get back to you on it. OK, example one, check your understanding. It's your turn. Find the exact, here's that word, right? We just went over that, the exact area of a circle with a radius of 50 inches. Go ahead and do it. When you get back, we'll do it together. OK, um, let's take a look at it. So what is the area of a circle, the formula? A area is equal to pi r squared. That's the area of the circle. Let's see, would you rather use a different color? Why don't I change that? 
Maybe I've I'm, I'm been trying to find the right color for these slides. Let's do red. A, that's kind of nice. A is equal to pi r squared. <clears throat> so now we know the radius, 50 inches. And they want the exact, so we know what that means. It means the pi doesn't disappear. So area is equal to pi r, which is 50, square. So we all know what 50 square is, right? A is equal to 50 square is 2,500. 5 times 5 is 25, right? And two zeros, right? So 50 times 50 is 2,500. And pi. 2,500 pi. I switched the two of them on you, by the way. And we can't forget this. Inches. Inches square. So this is the exact area of a circle with a radius of 50 inches. 2,500 pi inches square. Okay? Here's a real world problem in example two. It's a biology issue. The size of a jaguar's territory depends on how much food is available. In a situation where there is plenty of food, the circular territory of the jaguar may be as small as three miles in diameter. Three miles in diameter. Find the area of the region to the nearest square mile. Okay, so what do we know? We know, and does it say the exact area? No, it says to the nearest square mile, so it's an, it's an approximation. So we're going to use the real value of pi. Uh, we're going to use a number for pi in here, I'm going to assume, right? So I guess we could I guess we could also leave pi in the answer. They don't say we can't. Find the area of the region to the nearest square mile. We can leave pi in or take it out. Let's go ahead and write it. The area of this circle is equal to what? Pi r square. And we know that the territory is 3 miles in diameter. So then we know that a is equal to pi times what? A half of 3 is 1 and a half. That's the radius miles square. Okay, so what is, so I was just thinking about here, I, I think I'll give, we'll do both answers, because they don't say which one, we can use both. So <clears throat> using both, we'll say that A is equal to, the area is equal to pi times 1.5 squared is 2.25, okay? So that's, this answer here would be, I'll just carry it over here, would be 2.25 pi, this is the exact answer, miles squared, mi squared. Okay, and it says, find the area to the nearest square mile, well in that case it would be two, I guess, that's hard to do because you're gonna multiply it out, two would be like two pi, miles squared, we'll just leave it like this. Then if we wanted to the, use the non-accurate version, we'd replace pi. So we would say here, starting here, we'd say 2.25 times 3.14, okay, miles square. And 2.25 times 3.14 is 7 point, what does my calculator say? 7.0. Six five miles square, square miles. And to the nearest, again, to the nearest square mile would be seven. In this case, seven, or in this case up here, would be three times two would be maybe six, a little more than six. It's a little odd to say that one. And I think they wanted it more in this one here, the 7.065 and I rounded it to seven miles square, seven square miles. <clears throat> okay, example two, checking your understanding. Find the approximate area of a circle with a radius. Approximate, here we go, 
the approximate area of a circle with a radius of six miles. Okay, so you go do it when you get back, we'll try it together. Okay, now that you're back, let's write down the area for a formula for a circle. A is equal to pi r squared. <clears throat> okay, so now what do we know? We know that the radius is six miles. So A is equal to pi times six squared. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is A, the area is equal to and they want the approximate, so we'll go ahead and put in 3.14 times 36. 6 squared is 36. And if we multiply this out, what do we get? Uh, I guess we're going to take our calculator and we're going to mul multiply this out. And when I do, I get approximately 113 miles square. Okay, <clears throat> Okay, they're telling us here in Objective 2, finding areas of irregular figures. To find the area of an irregular figure, you can sometimes separate it into different figures. With areas, you know how to find. Okay, You can't find the area of the big, of the big figure, but you can maybe break it into small pieces that you can add and subtract and figure it out and combine your answers. So we'll see how that goes. Example three, it's a real world problem. It's a landscaping problem. A pound of grass seed covers approximately 675 square feet. Find the area of the lawn below. There's our lawn, the picture of the lawn. And find the amount of grass seed you'll need to buy to cover the lawn. And grass seed comes in three pound bags. So it's a multi-step problem here. So the first is, let's go ahead and find the area of the circle. The area of the circle is equal to, well, we know we're going to say pi r is the best thing to do. So pi r squared. And we, when we fill that in, we're going to have pi times r, which is 1 half of 30, because 30 is the diameter of the circle. R is half of that. So we're going to say 15 square. So that is the area of the circle. Okay. Pi R squared. And we want, we're going to add half of that area in, right? So we're going to say that um, half the area, so our circle equals one half of pi 15 squared. And that is, and we're going to put in the, I guess we'll put in the 3.14. So 1 half times 3.14 times 15 squared, which is 225. <clears throat> okay, when we multiply that out, we're going to get a number that looks like 353.25. Okay, and by the way, that's what? I can, I'll write it right here. Feet square. Okay, so that's the area for the circle. And that's half the circle because only half of it's sticking out here. And now for the area of the rectangle, it's just base times height, and that equals what? That equals 25, the base is 45 times 25. <clears throat> and that, when you multiply that out, you get 1125. And that is feet square. So now to get this total area of this figure, this irregular figure, we're going to say TA, total area, is equal to 1125, 1125, plus how much? 353.25. Okay, and we're going to say, I can put parentheses around here then and say feet square. 
<clears throat> okay, so we're getting close. So now the total area is equal to 1,478 feet square. So now the question is, you have 675 square feet per pound of grass seed. It comes in three pounds bags. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide our total area. So seed, total seed equals 1,478 divided by 675. And that equals how much? That equals two point something, two point, two point one nine pounds, I guess, in that case, right? Because it's it's so many feet per pound. So it's gonna be two point nine pounds L B. Okay? So that means total grass seed. So now the question is, how many bags does he need to buy? It's a three pound bag. He needs two pounds. He only needs to buy buy one bag. Okay? And that's one three-pound bag, by the way. Example three, check your understanding. Your turn. Find the area of the shaded region to the nearest tenth. Well, go ahead. Here it is. Take your time. Do it. Come back. We'll do it together. Okay. Now that you're back, let's start off with the finding the area of what? Of Let's the rectangle. And the area of the rectangle... A sub R, how's that? R, little R. Area of the rectangle is equal to the base 10 times 5 is equal to 50 centimeters square. Don't forget the, center, the centimeters, always get the units. Now, how about the circle? What is the circle? The area of the circle is equal to, well, we, know, we need to know the radius, and we know it. It's two and a half. And we need to know the, what else do we need to know? We need to know the um, pi times two and a half squared, right? So it's pi times the radius, two and a half, 2.5 squared. We're only dealing with half of that. So our formula times the area of the circle in, in the equation is the area of half hc, half the circle, is equal to pi times 2.5 squared times 1 half. Okay, so now the area of the half of the circle is equal to two and a half squared ends up being, well, I don't know what that ends up being. I've got to get out the calculator. Hold on. Okay, I've got the number now. So it's 3.14, 3.14 times 6.25, okay? And that's times one half. And when we take this now, this is, area of the, of the half circle is equal to 625 divided by 2 times 3.14 and we get 9.812 equals 9.812 and that also happens to be centimeters square. So now in order to get the total area let's pick a different color we'll go with we're going to get um, the area as 50 centimeters squared plus 9.812 centimeters square, and that equals, oh, not, not plus, excuse me, it's negative, minus, minus, 9.812 centimeters square, and that leaves us with 40.2 cm 
squared. So that's the area of the shaded. That's the shaded area. Shaded area is equal to 40.2 cm squared. Okay?